What is up guys, we are back for another episode of CDS Garage. So in today's episode, I'm going to be removing my front bumper and then installing my new Simon carbon fiber lip and also removing my old Aeroflow Dynamics V2 splitter, which I'm probably not gonna run anymore. It's just too heavy and I just don't want it for the bumper anymore. But before we get started on that, uh, I've made an amazing discovery that I don't know, I've had the car for like three years now and I don't know how I haven't found these before, but so, as most of you know that have worked on your cars, who have taken off the front bumper several times, I'm assuming by now, uh, the pop clips that come in the front bumper break quite frequently, or you just lose them. And to buy them from Subaru, I think it's about $5 per pop clip, which is like ridiculous, because there's so many in the car. There's more, it's not just in the front bumper, it's also, there's some in the trunk, there's, they're all over the car. So yeah. These pop clips are all over the car and they're about $5 from Subaru and I was like, you know what, there's got to be a better way. So I went online, looked, of course, Amazon. Amazon has everything. So I found a pack of these pop clips and it says it's a 100 piece set, but I mean, I'm pretty sure it's counting two pieces. So you have like the insert piece and then the outer piece, which that piece goes into. So I'm pretty sure it's counting those as separate pieces. So technically there's only 50 pop clips, but it's still 50 pop clips for $5 compared to one pop clip for five dollars so um, any of you guys that are working on your car taking off your front bumper a lot breaking these pop clips instead of going to subaru just go ahead go on amazon i'll put a link down in the description below and just get this pack of pop clips it's going to save you so much money and who cares if they break right i mean they're only five it's five dollars for 50 so by the time you run out you just spend another five dollars like they, and i've already used a couple of them and they they work perfectly they fit perfectly I haven't like removed them yet, so if they break, then they break, but the other ones will break too. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started on this, uh, the new lip. I'm pretty excited. Alright, so before I go installing the new carbon fiber lip, I wanted to get a quick little side-by-side -side comparison of the two. So in the back, we obviously have the real Simon carbon fiber lip. And in the front, we have an eBay wrapped carbon fiber lip. So it's a regular, just a plastic lip wrapped in eBay carbon fiber wrap. eBay, Amazon, either one. But yeah, it's a, it's a huge difference. So there's this one, and then... Look at this one. Oh my gosh, just so much better. I don't know why I even did this in the first place, but it's time. All right, so we have a little test fit of the carbon fiber lip on the bumper right now. I gotta say this fitment is spot on. It is, it is, I don't think you get any better fitment than this for a lip. So also I'm not going to be installing the old splitter on this. It's just too heavy and I, I just don't like the way it looks anymore. It's pretty beat up, so. We'll see what I do with that. I'll probably just throw it away or give it to somebody. Uh, anyway, I'm excited to get this on there. Let's go. 